Okay. Rennie, I know how disappointed everybody was after the, the result on Saturday afternoon. And we've talked about the fact that the first half performances in the majority of the games recently have been good, good performances. Mm. Can you tell me what, what happens in the second half when that first goal is conceded over the last, the recent run of games? Well, it, uh, you don't have to read about the bush, as they say, I think, about that when we do concede the first goal, it does, it does definitely has an impact on you know on the team and the players. You can see it. And, and it's normal because you human beings, you know, and, and, and we've had too many sort of those knocks in, in recent games where we've really, you know, uh, played really well in the first half. And, you know, you go back to all the games, Southampton, Swansea, Arsenal, all of them really good, established, good football performances, first half, very solid. And in all the games, it's been the same trend because we should have gone in front. Yeah, That is, I think, a combination of the two, not going in front and then conceding that first goal that people go oh. but it can't be an excuse for our next performances coming up because who says that Manchester United is not going to score first or another team so we can't go that route we have to just make sure we address it we know it we not we have to start um you know making sure we don't feel for ourselves that we say even if we, like a Southampton even if you do score concede that first goal but even if you stay in the game 1-0 and you carry it on to 70 minutes to 80 minutes, you're still in the game. And that is more disappointing, I found, that we can see that second yeah. and the third one so quickly after And what that. do you put that down to? Is that confidence again, or is that a defensive frame? I, I think, yeah, I think a sort of reaction is two ways. It's like, very disappointed, and at the same time, let's put it right. Yeah. And because of that, they lose losing really a little bit the discipline. The shape, yeah. The shape, the discipline, and people get picked off, people get into 1v1 scenarios. Because bang, you're chasing. And you look yeah. at that, for instance, look at that third goal against Southampton, and we've had it again, so everything that goes on goal ends in the top corner. Mm. You know what I mean? Credit to Rodriguez, a fantastic goal, but we've had those those things happening to us as well. Yeah. You know, so, we know that. The players the players know that. And we just need to make sure that we, we give us, we, we're going to give us a better chance. So we're going to have to probably be even a bit more organised, even a bit more disciplined, even a bit more rigid, mm. right? Even a bit more less adventurous with regards to full-backs bombing on and whatever. You know, we, we just need to make sure, well, let's just, let's just make sure that we, we get our house in order defensively. And presumably, in terms of confidence, tomorrow night, FA Cup game, it's an opportunity for you. And I know that you've changed the squad previously in the other rounds. Would this be something that you would consider doing tomorrow night or are you playing for the confidence that a win would bring and, and going through to the next round of the 100%, cup? 100%. Without a shadow of a doubt, never anything comes positive comes out of, of losing a game. So one, we want to win that because of you know the confidence and secondly, we want to progress to the next round. You know, great opportunity. It's going to be difficult because we, we have to, you know, we have to break them down. Uh, we're going to be numbers behind the ball. We have to be careful that we're not going to be head on a break. There's going to be a really, you know, a really good, strong team. Um, but at the same time, I, I keep the tendency going that I'm going to give some, you know, some young upcoming players a, a, an opportunity to, to have experiences to play at the highest level. And of your new signings, obviously none of them are eligible to play tomorrow night because of not registering for the first yeah. round of that particular tie. But how are they looking in training? There were two good performances that I know you were pleased with on yeah. Saturday. And um, how about our new Greek striker? Is he trained well today? Is he looking good out there? Yeah, yeah. No, uh, Costas is, uh, is obviously a big step for him. He's, uh, he's he, he did have an injury a couple of weeks ago, which he's come back from he's played some 45 and 60 minutes whatever um, but more important is he needs to get into sort of a conditioning state you know leading up into for the Premier League level but he's training he's training well so we're making sure that every day that we've got a chance to work with him we we, uh, we put him through his uh, to his bases um, and that likes for all the other ones as well so they're blending in nicely and like I said anybody that would come and look over the fence and see his train. Nobody would say that they were looking, looking at a team that's bottom of the Premier League. The atmosphere is good. You know, we've got a lot of characters in this group. We've got a lot of energy in in, in this group and determination. So we need to we need to start that, putting that onto the pitch in the next performances. We wish you luck tomorrow.
Thank you very much.